Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott and in this tutorial we're going to go over the benefits of a range versus series. So a range is uh, very basic. It just asks for a set of numbers, the domain, and that can be, it starts at zero uh, by default, but and then you throw in a 25 and then it'll go from zero to 25. If you run it through an interval, then you can specify a, a, a different lower bound so if we say 10 to 25 it goes from 10 to 25 and then it's broken up into a series of steps so n is a the number of steps and then it will just create those intervals based on how many, however many steps you want so this is great if you want to define a specific number of steps but and you don't care what the uh, the actual increment is as long as it's even so that's the range the series is a little bit different. It asks for the the first number in the series, and that can be zero, can be whatever you want, so you can define that ahead of time. It asks for n, the step size, so this one is for if you do want to specify a step size, we'll look at just this one, uh, just this one series. So step size is 10, we can bring it down, so it'll go 7, 14, 21, 28, if you specify 7. And then C is the number of steps, uh, the number of values. So 0 to 9, it always starts at 0, is uh, 10, 10 items. It can be less or more. If you use the interval with the series, or two series perhaps, you can uh, specify a, a series with certain intervals. So here we have uh, 0 to 10. 7 to 20, 14 to 30, and then you can tweak these values to get uh, different, the correct interval that you want. So if we want 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, then we can begin to highlight specific numbers of a, a set of values that we're working with. So that's the basic difference between the range and the series. Hope you learned something.